Leo. What's up, Leo? It's your girl D here with Eighth House Energy here to bring you your June 2021 silent enemies reading i hope all is well in the leo community i do want to thank you guys who continue to come to the channel and show your love and support i want to thank you for that those of you who are new welcome hopefully you will find uh the variety of content on the channel uh something of interest and you will become a member uh i do uh multiple placements uh, multiple types of readings for all your placements uh, just about every week. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can check them all out at your leisure. Uh, this reading is designed to help you to pay attention to your intuitive nudges. Uh, with the silent enemies reading, this is not just about, oh, okay, well, who's around me doing dirt, but it's also about you paying attention to your intuition in reference to the people excuse me, the people closest to you, because um, it doesn't also always have to be negative. Uh, the silent enemy part is the part where you're, you're ignoring yourself. So you're being an enemy to yourself by ignoring your intuition. It's a God-given gift, and it's put there for a reason, and it's put there to help to protect you and, and many times can save your life. So why do we ignore it? Well, because a lot of times in this 3D world that we're in, you know, we're taught to look outside of ourselves for answers instead of trusting our gut and our intuition. So this reading is here to bring it back to the way it was supposed to be. We are spirits having a human experience. And in order for us to keep in contact with our higher self, we need to listen to our intuition. OK, it's important because it can save us in this physical realm from all kinds of disaster. So a silent enemy reading it deals with people closest to you. Now you say, well, how is people closest to me an enemy? Well, because people closest to you have more access to you. They um, are people that you confide in, people who know everything about you or know a lot about you more than a stranger would. A stranger couldn't just run up on you and, um, you know, take things from you. In certain circumstances, they could, of course, but they couldn't, um, you know, do as much damage as someone who's closest to you, who are, knows you, who knows your family, knows how you feel about things. The, a stranger couldn't do that much damage to you, as much damage as someone who knows you. So this is why it's important that you pay attention to when your intuitive nudge comes about with people who are closest to you. Number one, it can help to keep you from being around people who are really adversarial to you in nature and maybe maybe hiding their true intent, whether they're a family member, whether they're a lover, whether they're a friend, a co-worker, colleague, a, the, the, the local bus driver, uh, your neighbor, whoever's in your energy on the regular. OK, so not only will it keep that type of energy at bay, it also helps you to connect with the people closest to you by paying attention to their needs, you picking up on their frequency. People that you gravitate around the most are people who are on similar frequency as you. So you can feel the fluctuation in their frequency when something's not right. So therefore you can investigate, hey, what's going on? You're not acting yourself today. Are you all right? You know, and they may say, oh, well, you know, I got some things going on. Maybe they don't want to discuss it with you and that's okay. Or maybe they do. Or it could be a worst case scenario. Maybe they're jealous of you. They're envious of you. They don't want to see you happy. You know, it could be any of that. But the thing is, is you want to investigate the intuitive nudge first and then act upon it. Right. So you can't act upon it and protect yourself or help anyone if you're not listening. So this is the whole point of the reading. So we have three cards here. I'm going to read them intuitively, tell you what I get. If this resonates, OK, take the information and use it. Um in the best way that you see fit okay do not take this as word of law because it is not um you still have to use your discretion okay this is why this is um 18 year older uh channel okay you have to be an adult actually technically this should be for people who are 30 years and older but um astrologically you're considered an adult mentally at the age of 30 because you haven't had your Saturn return yet until you're about 28, 29, 30. Once you have your first Saturn return, Saturn is father time. Saturn says, okay, now you are a mature adult. It's not me who's saying it. It's Saturn. All right. Now moving on. The first card here we have is the six of pentacles. The second card we have is the page of swords. The third card we have is the nine of cups. Now, these situations could be all intermingled or they could be separate situations, but it's up to you to determine that, not me. I'm just going to read intuitively what I get. So with this um, Six of Pentacles, you need to be careful. Um, I feel like with the silent enemy coupled with the planetary alignments that we're experiencing, 
uh, a lot of people uh, reminiscing about situations, looking back at scenarios and situations that they were involved in. Um, this could have been a situation where this is somebody that you no longer deal with. It could be somebody you deal with, but we'll talk about it if it's somebody you no longer deal with. This is somebody who could be coming back around with Mercury in retrograde. Somebody could be coming back around um, and they may be coming back around because they may see that you're doing well financially and they may want to uh, take advantage of any opportunity they can get from you. If you look at the picture here, you see that the gentleman is dressed nicely compared to the others. The other ones are dressed a little bit uh, uh, in, a, in a manner in which they they uh, need help. You know, they don't have decent clothes. Clothes have holes in them. They're dirty. They're ripped. They're worn. They're torn. So this is an energy or image of people who are uh, less fortunate financially. Okay. So people could be looking at you as, oh, you doing well. You know, can I get a couple dollars? But it's showing up in the silent enemies reading as because these people are, they're not looking at you as, okay, this person can help me. Let me ask them for help because I truly need it. These are people who are coming to you or trying to take advantage of you or trying to take from you or trying to put you in a position where you're the one who's with the ripped clothes. And they're the ones who stand in there, you know, uh, saying what's being given and what's not given. So you need to be careful of people coming back around trying to latch on to you financially. OK, now, if this is somebody you're currently dealing with, it's the same concept. It's just that this is somebody who's in your energy. You may be getting an intuitive nudge about them like. You know, they may be saying things to you. They may not actually be coming to you asking you for a handout, but they could be saying things to you to make you feel like, hmm, why is this person trying to make me feel like I need to do something for them? Or they keep complaining about what they don't. You know how people are. They're passive aggressive. You have those people who will just say, hey, can I have? And then you have people who are passive aggressive. They'll just come around you. Oh, well, damn, I wish I could pay. I wish I had money to get those nice clothes that you got. Or, you know, damn, you drive a nice car. You know, you must be making nice money. Or, wow, you know, you got a nice house. You got a nice place. You know, your business must be doing well. Or, it, 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 and you know what? There's always some type of underlying current to certain comments. You have to wonder why people say certain things to you. Especially if they always clocking your money and watching your dollars i have such a nasty distaste in my mouth for people like that it's not even funny it's like they try to make it like you're materialistic because you can afford nice things now you might be materialistic but at least you ain't on here begging for somebody else's money to do it with you got out here and got your own right but these people coming at you like oh you know you shouldn't have nice things i remember um when i was working I um I had a pair of, um I wear glasses. I had a pair of Gucci rims. Now the G wasn't all over the rim. The G was just like right here on the side, right? It was like the little Gucci thing. And um yeah, I I bought them because I liked them and I could afford them and I'm like, you know what? I want to treat myself. So I'm sitting there at work and this this younger guy, he was in his 20s, very young, very somewhat immature. You know, he's looking at me, sizing me up. He's like, you know, oh, you, you seem like you're very materialistic. And I'm like, why? He said, because you got Gucci frames on. And it wasn't even a, a, a large frame or a large Gucci symbol. It was very small. Like the frame of my glasses are small. And it was just a little G right there on the side. But he was all up in my face enough to notice it. And then to call me materialistic because I drove a nice car, drove a BMW, and I had the Gucci. Okay, well, I work for that. Oh, well, you must be very, you, you seem very materialistic. So people who say shit like that to you, you know, they're watching you. They're jealous because they can't do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because if they had their own, they wouldn't be sweating you on that level, talking to you like that. They may just notice, okay, you're doing well too. But they're not going to say no stuff like that. So just pay attention to the people around you and what they say, right? This could also be a work situation where you have a boss who is trying to take advantage of you, um, you know how you, oh, this is what I used to hate when I worked. I used to hate where I would go to, um, I would, and if this is either if you work for somebody or if you're in a business environment where you're conducting business with someone. Someone always trying to get something extra from you. It's like, I don't mind, you know, you're a client of mine. I don't mind doing the service for you because that's what I do. And, you know, I don't mind doing a little extra for you from time to time. Cool, that's what I do. Like right now I'm offering um, questions for uh, $10. $10. One question for $10. I usually charge $25 for a question, but I did that for the Memorial Day weekend. Anybody who wanted to ask a question, $10, right? All throughout Memorial Day weekend. 
But, you know, I had a client that I had to turn down because not only did this client want this question answered, they wanted me to elaborate more, but they didn't want to, you know, they had like three or four more questions after that, but they didn't want to pay for the other questions. I'm like, look, I'll be glad to answer those questions for you. Let me confirm this is what you want. You want to know this. You want to know that. You want to know that. And they're like, yes. I'm like, okay, well, then that's going to be an additional blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, oh, okay, well, you know, never mind. Now, it's a difference between if there's just miscommunication, you know, you're like, okay, look, you know, this is how much it's going to cost and maybe they don't have it right now or they don't want to do it. But there's a distinct difference between people who are purposely trying to take more from you. Oh, I'm not happy with this reading because you didn't address this, that, 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 and the other. Yes, I did address that. Maybe you don't like the answer, but I addressed it. You know what I'm saying? So for some of you, you could be dealing with clients like that who are trying to nickel and dime you, trying to really get more from you than what they want. To, you know what I'm saying? And then once you give them more, they don't even thank you. They, you know what I mean? They just play the role like they're upset. You know how that customer always write bullshit? Because I don't, I, don't I don't play that shit. Customers always write type of shit. To a certain extent, I will satisfy a customer depending on, you know, what they did and what, you know what I mean? I'll brush things to the side, but... I know when someone's trying to play me. My intuition is on point. I know when someone's trying to play me and I don't play them games. So you may need to be careful with that, Leo. If you're a business owner, you got people trying to nickel and dime you or play you. Oh, you can afford it. Or I don't got it this week. Well, no, you're supposed to pay it every week, boo-boo. Well, I don't got it this week. Okay, well, then I can't help you this week. For others of you, if you work for somebody, you could have a boss who is, you know, or you could be interviewing for a job and they say, these are the three things that you're going to be doing. Right. And you get there and you do those three things. Then it's like, oh, OK, well, such and such is out today. So we need you to cover for them and to do that. OK, well, now you cover for them and you know how to do it. So now what they do is, oh, well, we got somebody trained in such and such a job. So now we can fire such and such. So they fire such and such and then they want to come to you. You still got to do the three things you got to do. But now they want you to fill in for such and such until they find a replacement. Hint, hint, find a replacement. But yet they don't want to pay you that, that money for that extra work. Be careful with people like that. Don't be afraid to negotiate and sit down because you know what? You're a business entity. People are afraid to lose their jobs and I get it. But this is an environment right now where it's ripe for job opportunity. So if you are in a situation where you're feeling like this job sucks or my boss takes me for advantage because we're just coming out of this COVID energy and companies are starting to try to get themselves back up off the ground and running. There's job opportunities out here. So taking advantage, if you're not happy with where you are and you feel like your boss is nickel and diamond you or trying to play you, see if you can find something else. OK, that's what I get with that six of pentacles. I also get for some of you, this could be karmic in nature because sixes are representation to me of karmic energy. So for some of you, if this is a friend or a lover or somebody who's trying to come back around or somebody you're currently in a, a, a karmic situation with, and you'll know because you and this person, you know, you're kind of bumping heads, okay? And things don't get better for you. You know what I mean? And this could be why for some of you, this is someone who came back from the past. You cut them off. It was all about money. They were all about what they could get from you. So be careful this person coming back. Page of Swords, Leo. <sighs> Somebody could be coming to you with lies, not being honest, not telling you what it is that you need to know. I feel like for some of you, you um, you have to be careful of people saying things, rounding up other people. Because you see this person is standing here with some information and other people are coming towards them to get it. So you need to be careful with who you're getting information from. They could be telling you things that are not accurate. Or this could be somebody who's, you know, saying things to get other people's attention. They could be saying things about you. This is also somebody who's watching you for whatever reason. They may have, um, and, and, and I feel like this person will make it obvious that they're watching you by the things they say to you. You'll know if somebody's watching you. Like I said, with the scenario where I gave, where I was telling you about the guy who was like, oh, you, you seem really materialistic. Like, you don't even know me, dude. You just sizing me up you know, making assumptions and saying things and putting things out there. I feel like you're dealing with that type of energy here. People putting things out there, assuming things. They don't know nothing about you. It's just based on what they see. They don't know you personally. That's for people external to you. This is someone close to you. This is somebody who could be watching you 
They could be talking to others around you, trying to uh, rile up the troops against you, so to speak. So if you have people around you telling you that such and such said this or such and such came to you, came to you and said this or they said that and it don't make no sense why such and such would have said that or such and such was telling a lie or such and such only told half the truth. That's what that is. It don't matter what environment it is in. It could be work. You know, I feel like people are only giving half the information. They're only telling half the information for their own for their own purposes, for their own reasons. So be careful. Make sure you do your own research. The, the page of source also talks about research. Do your own research. Um, if you want to find out something, ask other people. You see how there's this one person here giving information, but there's other people here you can actually talk to and ask and see what they have to say about it and then make a decision. I feel like you don't need to just trust this person. I feel like you need to ask the others as well what they've experienced or what this person has told them too. Because I feel like for some of you, this person has told each of these people something different. That could be the case as well. Or has told these people something to try to get them to coerce them into doing Like somebody's playing manipulation games and mind games here. Because this is um, Libra energy. And I feel like what they're trying to do is balance things out so that it works out in their favor by whatever it is that they're saying. So be careful of what people are telling you. How they're saying it to you. If people are coming to you with gossip, be careful of that as well. Okay, because people could be coming to you with gossip and lies and slander about others. Because if they're going to talk to, especially if it's people that you are close to. Say it's a group of friends and this one friend is coming to you telling you about this other friend's business, what this other friend is doing. Now, if y'all are all not friends and this other person could not have told you something like this or didn't tell you, you need to be careful. Because if this friend could talk about them, they can come talk about you. All right. So be careful who you share your personal information with. Um, if you feel in the vibe that you don't trust somebody or someone's telling you some bullshit, go with that. We got the nine of swords. I'm sorry, the nine of cups energy here. Be careful about people around you being greedy. I feel like these two scenarios could be related <clears throat> because you're dealing with someone who's got their hand out. But like I said, when it's coming up in the silent enemies reading, it's because they're greedy. They want what you have. So you see how they're coming over to you, kissing your ass like this is you. You got all you need, right? The cups could represent anything, but they represent you being emotionally happy and fulfilled. This person is coming over here. Oh, well, how can I what can I do for you? What can I get for you? Or they could be coming over here trying to get off of this person's plate. <clears throat> they could be coming to you acting as if they want to help you. They want to do for you, you know, and it could be coming with lies, you know, with that page of swords energy. Oh, I want to help you. I want to do for you. I want to give to you. But they just want to eat off your plate. That's all. Um. Be careful of people who are, like I said, they're watching what you have. They comment on what you have. Oh, gee, you got a nice house. Or, gee, you wear nice clothes. Or, gee, you got... It's one thing for someone to compliment you. But pay attention to compliments. Because a lot of times compliments come, but there there's underlying current <clears throat> behind it. It kind of could lead up to something. Because people, you know, how to win... This is a cycle. Okay, there's this book, How You Win Friends and Influence People. I read this when I was in sales. One thing you can do is um, you can let people talk about themselves. If you let people talk about themselves, just let them talk, 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 talk. They will tend to like you because they'll feel like you're listening to them. So if you just sit back and you say, hey, what's going on? And you just let this person ramble, ramble, ramble. Who's got more control of the conversation? The person rambling or the person listening? The person listening all right so be careful who you talk to about what's going on because people may use what you say and you know uh leo you like attention you know what i'm saying and it's not a negative thing always you like attention you like to be in the spotlight so if someone if you're talking you want people to pay attention so this is why you have to be careful what you're saying and who you're saying it to because people will use that against you they will try to take from you OK, so be careful who you're giving attention and time to and energy to and make sure that they're just not using it to take advantage of you and put you in a situation of lack. Because I feel like you got some hateful people around you um, and they may not be doing it. Um, how can I say it? It may not. It could just be, you know, 
you know, some people, well, damn, I'm jealous. I wish I had that nice house. But then it's nothing more to it. You know what I'm saying? Because I see people with nice houses all the time. I watch the lottery. What is it? The lottery dream house. The people who win the lottery and then the guy takes them to show them houses and they pick out. Shit, I'm, I'm on that channel all the time. Damn, I wish I had that house. I'm jealous. I wish that was. But I'm not sitting here mad and scheming on these people and trying to get to know them and getting it. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different it's different levels to, you know, saying, OK, I'm jealous about something. Like this person here, they're trying to get in your plate. They'll bring you the plate, but they're still trying to get in it too. Be careful of people bringing you food and drinks, bringing it to your home, bringing it to you. Watch what you eat at people's houses, okay? At people's barbecues, it's probably already too late, but you know, we got 4th of July coming and you got your birthday coming and stuff like that. Be careful. Watch what you eat and drink that's made from people. Don't leave your food unattended. Don't leave your drink unattended, okay, um, around certain people. And I hate to say that, but this is the energy I'm picking up. Be careful who you, um, who you allow to cook for you. Um, be careful who you're drinking and partying with. That may give you some indication of who you need to watch out for, um, just be careful. Just just keep your ears open. Keep your intuition high. You know, you're very spiritual. You're the wand energy. So you are very in tune, you know, uh, with your spiritual energy, whether it's the negative or the positive. But just pay attention to that when your intuition goes off. We're going to go into the specifics in the extended. I'm going to pull like four cards for each of these. And we're going to get specific details of what you need to watch out for and why. And we'll pull some um, oracle in reference to how you can protect yourself. All right. So if this resonated in any way, feel free to click the like button. Also, um, if you want to leave a comment related to how it resonates, please feel free to do so. That is what the comments are for. Uh, if you have not subscribed, feel free to do so. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you check your other placements and check the other readings on the uh, channel because there's a variety for you to choose from don't forget to watch the planetary alignments ones that i've done for you all the planets that are in retrograde saturn pluto and mercury check those placements out i'll have them attached at the end of this video check those out and then also look forward to uh neptune and jupiter uh readings because they're going into retrograde and pisces at the end of the month so i'll have those for you as well all right guys i love you I'm going to the extended. Feel free to join. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Leo.